652 time for the morning sprint. We begin with Leah Lindshine kicking off our coats for kids campaign. Leah. Yeah, Chris started that campaign with pack the truck. This is a 16 foot delivery truck and we want you to help us fill it. We're looking in particular for kids jackets sizes infant all the way up to teens. Come help us out. We're hoping to hit five maybe six thousand coats this season. It all starts today. Drop off your coat. Stay right in your car. We'll do all the hard work for you. Back to you. Thanks, Leah. A man is dead this morning after walking into freeway traffic on I-39 near Buckeye Road. State troopers tell us a 45-year-old man parked his vehicle on the shoulder, walked out into traffic, and was hit by a semi. That crash ended up closing northbound lanes for more than two hours yesterday afternoon. Those lanes are back open. Yesterday's weather so wet that more than half of the Ironman racers did not cross the finish line. More than 2,400 athletes swam, bike, and ran 146 miles. Weather was much more cooperative Saturday for the shorter Ironman race, which is 70.3 miles. A Janesville man is sharing artifacts that he's uncovered from a Janesville brewery. The first of two sessions called the History of Breweries in Janesville highlights the work done by a local historian and a group of volunteers in uncovering parts of the brewery built in 1857. They've been excavating the site since 2015. The next session is September 17th. We continue to watch developments in Jackson, Mississippi, where the federal government is now launching an investigation into the water crisis. The EPA confirmed that a team with the Inspector General's office will be conducting data and interviews, or collecting data and conducting interviews. The investigation will look into the history of Jackson's troubled water system. Despite a $42 million federal government commitment, the city's mayor says it's not enough money to meet the needs of Jackson's accumulating challenges. Visa, MasterCard, and American Express planning to add a new merchant category for firearms retailers. It marks a victory for gun control advocates. Until now, gun shops were categorized as specialty or durable goods sellers. This code is for businesses that primarily sell guns. Big box retailers have different merchant category codes. Earlier this month, Democratic lawmakers wrote to credit card companies pushing for a new code when it comes to gun and ammunition sellers. Still tracking some rainfall out there. It is steady, especially across parts of Rock County, Greene County, and into Jefferson County this morning. Still everyone getting in on the wet as you look outside. This is the Beltline at West Broadway. Road still freshly wet as light rain does continue to come down. So I'm giving you the yellow light for the morning commute and the evening commute because of wet roads and possible water ponding. We're going to struggle to get out of the 50s again today, but I do expect us to make it to 61 for your high later on this afternoon. The thing is you always have to give or take a degree or two. So some of you don't get out of the 60s for your high today. Rain chances finally begin to come down. We we will clear out tonight with lows in the low 50s. Can't wait. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll have another news update here in 30 minutes.